Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is Khaled and today I'll be walking you through the steps of making a simple image that used to look like this into this. If you like this video or when I'm doing on this channel, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also you can leave some nice comment if you would like or suggest tutorials in the comment section. I mean, even this tutorial was suggested by a friend of mine, so thank you, a friend of mine. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck. Or, yeah, you can even share this video with your friends if for some reason you think that this video is going to help them somehow. I mean, that's wh what friends are for. We are here to help each other. So, before you start with this video, you need to cut out a person from a background. Fortunately for you, I've got a tutorial just for that. So, make sure to check the video description for a link. Or, you can use this image of mine instead. For some reason, if you don't want to, or you don't know how to, or you don't care to. So, <laughs> it's your thing. And yeah, you also need these stock images right here. So, check, make sure to check the video description for a download link to them and a link to the video tutorial I was just talking about. And yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Here we go. Yeah, and then you need to go to the crop tool and once you crop it, you're gonna see it cropping from one side. What you need to do is click and hold the alt button so you can drag and drag from both sides and give some space to the wings. Control zero to zoom out. And yeah, then you can either use these and cut them out by yourself or use the ones I just cut out by myself <laughs> yeah it's really that simple and then make sure to put it beneath the character or no 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 undo Make sure to align them to the shoulders. Zoom out again and give it an extra space for the background. Now what we need to do is, yeah, we're gonna need to adjust the lighting. So go to, make sure to check, to click on the wings layer and then go to adjustments, shadows and highlights. And these are the default settings that I've used. You can copy them and use them. See, we dent the lighting and the highlights by a lot. Yep, next thing is to duplicate the image. So make sure to click on Ctrl G, J to duplicate, then Ctrl T to transform then right click, flip horizontal, then move it to the side again align it with the shoulder go to here or hit the V for the move tool alright it's already looking nice I mean we just need to rotate this one a little bit move it down align it with the shoulder as we said yeah now it's looking much better group these two and into a folder then add a new layer make it a clipping mask then use a black brush hit the B for the brush tool and set the opacity to about 20 the flow to about 20 as well then start brushing a little bit use a smaller brush size then with hardness set it to 0% so it's not even hard or rough we're going to give the, the, the wings a little bit of shadow in am I brushing? oh that's too much, but we're gonna fix that in a moment. I think that my PC is running too slow for this process. I don't even know why, but 
I'm gonna have to bury it. You're gonna have to as well. <laughs> now set the opacity to something low. Yeah, now it's looking much better. We need to add some shadowing to myself here because this side looks a little bit dark and this side looks a little bit brighter than it's supposed to be. So keep in mind when you're shooting to have a perfect lighting, I mean not perfect, but balanced, I mean, yeah, add some shadowing to the bottom as well. Now it's looking a little bit even on this side. Not too even, but a little bit even. And yeah, that should do. Before, after, before, after. It's looking much better. Now for the background. Drag and drop it. Oh, uh -huh. we just need to adjust one more thing. Go to the crop tool and move it just a little bit to the top so we can give some space to the background as we said then drag and drop this one align it with the top try to get it about this size in and then move it to most, to most bottom this we now we're going to create an anti layer and then we're gonna fill it with whatever color we want to. It doesn't even matter because we're not going to use it to use it to align the background. Yeah, next thing is to hit the control T button and then control R to bring out the guide tool. So I'm gonna add a guide just above the middle as you can see and then hit OK. Control R to hide the guides. Then, when you s once you've set up your guide, you you're going to be able to center to get a center selection. Centered selection, I mean. Sorry. Yeah. Now, to get this side, you're gonna need to click Control J to duplicate the only the selected part, and then Control G. J to duplicate it again but now we're going to flip it just as we did to the wings flip horizontal move it to the other side of the screen now okay hit the V and just for the move tool and get rid of this guide yeah just like so and merge these two select both of them and hit ctrl E to merge them or you can just select both of them and go to merge layers that would do next thing is to go to the filter then blur gallery field blur and add a blur of about 15 to 20 yeah 20 then set this light bokeh to 40 maybe no, no, that's my. That's too much. Maybe 25. Yes, 25. If this one at zero percent, make sure to hit the high quality and then okay. Give it some time to render, and yeah, it's looking much better. Now what we need to do is yeah, drag and drop this one. enlarge it set it just above this and soft light or mm, color dodge I mean you can use color dodge it works okay yeah works just okay but we're gonna have to lower lower the opacity just a little bit set it to about 80% or 60 60% 60 works great then get a black color go add a gradient 
we set black right create a new layer select the black color add a gradient reverse radial and then set the scale to about 700 all right then go to the mask tool hit the B for the brush tool get a large brush and make sure to add a black color to remove to start deleting I mean set the opacity about 100% for both the opacity and the flow before and after I think that it looks much better yes it does now we're going we're going to add to add some adjustments I mean you can do you can do this at a later stage but I like to do this now so I can get a better understanding of what I'm doing play with the reds try to give the wings a little bit of demonic color orange something that looks a little bit orange I mean it's just it is just a matter of preference so you can do whatever you want to we have no greens in the scene so we want to edit that add some blues I'm gonna make them just a little bit white yes about the blues I, mean, I think that I need to use this these settings these were great Ganta we're going to darken them and for the whites set each one of these to minus 50% minus 50 minus 50 and then here also to minus 50 go to the neutrals and here is where things get interesting I mean we want to have a slightly yellowish look so we really we really need to be careful then we go to the blacks and try to give it a look like this maybe increase the reds a little bit that's about okay for now I mean we can still edit those later play with the levels curves or even color balance which works same as selective colors yeah so now we need to drag and drop this fire embers and set it to about this okay now we need to scale it up just to fit the scene alright now we go to, we're going to go to filter blur and then motion blur you can try to set the angle to 30 or 22 distance 
I mean, as I said, it is just a matter of a reference. You can do whatever you want to. Then change the blended mode to maybe what did I set it to? Linear dodge. Maybe linear dodge. Color dodge. Linear burn. Linear dodge. Yes, linear dodge. Then we're gonna we're going to scale it down. Move it to this place, copy and paste it, add another one to this side. Make sure to put it beneath the adjustment layers. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> this looks okay to me. It might not look okay to you, but it's okay to me. I mean, yeah, that's really it. I mean, now I have to play with. What did I add? I mean, yes. Now we're going to add some. A bit of shadowing. Shrink it down. <laughs> Let's remove the selective color and play around with the curves. Until we get something we like. Let's add some yellow, yellow into the scene, increase the blues, greens. I mean, what is this shit? What's happening? Let's try to add a color lockup. Oh yeah, this one looks great. It's Fuji Inter. No, 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 no. Yeah, you get the name. Fuji Internal to 500 250D Kodak to 2395 by Adobe Cube. Yeah, that's it. Let's use this one instead. And now you can already see that the image is coming out nicely. So, you're gonna need to add some highlights to the wings as we have a light source in the background. Yeah, here are the wings. As I said, my PC is running a lot slower than it was, than it used to. I don't know the reason, but. Give it some highlights. Don't really worry about the opacity because you're going to lower that up, lower that down. As we said, it's not really a big problem. But yeah, let's send it to about 20 will work. 40. No, 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 it's not about 40, overlay, then, let's try to change in the blending mode to something that looks natural. Just lower the opacity. Normal and not looking okay. Change it to 20% or 30%. 
Now it's looking just a little bit better, slightly better, that is. And what can we do now? Uh, just add some highlights to myself. Yes, adjustment layer, create a new layer, make it a clipping mask. Add a brush, start brushing a little bit. Now reduce the opacity. That looks okay. Now delete this one. We're going to group all of these. And then we're going to duplicate them and then merge them. Let's wait for it. Convert to smart object. Merging layers. Wait for it. And then at this stage, I use a plugin called Photo Looks. Photo Looks. Sorry. What's happening? No, sorry, let's undo that and delete this one, delete it, open up the group and add some shadowing to the, to the wings, we forgot to do that, make it a clipping mask, start brushing with the black color. Now you can lower the opacity. And that looks okay, but not really okay. But better. <laughs> yes. As we said, now duplicate this one. And then convert to a smart object and now at this stage I use a plugin called magic bullet photo looks and you can also use that and I've added some adjustments some lens correction Let's wait for it to load. My PC is not usually so slow, but today it is. I don't even know why. Oh, sorry. We need to get rid of this. This group. And then we can edit the image. Photo looks and we still don't get the image to look right hold control and click on this layer icon as you can see it has more content to it but yes click M and start selecting control G to duplicate now we have only this layer now we can go to filter photo looks and yeah, now we have it. You can add some vignette. 
I've added some lens then lens correction I'm gonna show you what it looks like maybe change it to about 25 28 now it looks okay and I've even added some edge softness is how it goes add softness then try and drop this one a little bit far away blur size make it a little bit low then all right hit okay And now we can add some further adjustments go to photo looks photo look up then yellow grass I've made this look up by myself I can provide a link to this one in the description if you want it, if you want to download it but that's why I'm using another one <coughs> these are all the ones that I made two four five You can try different lookups. From the built in ones and Yeah, this one looks okay. So I spent more time on it, more than 27, more than 27 minutes, but this is what you get from a 27 minutes tutorial, I mean hopefully you're gonna like this video, and yeah, see you in the next video, thanks for watching, peace.